There's definitely a sense, this DIY notion, uh, this indie sort of notion, that you can now be a master of your own destiny and you don't need a record label. And my, my friends at the record label is going to hate me for saying this, but I, I'm not actually sure why you would sign to a record label. I, I, unless you just, you're, you're desperate for money, you're like in, on skid row and you've got a heroin, heroin problem and you desperately need that advance money, you know, to, to co cover your bill to Vinnie the Fish. <laughs> and, but but if, if you're not in, you know, if you're not in dire straits and you're a functional, you know, person and you've got a day job, you can usually, you can sort of pull yourself up by your bootstraps now. There's a process for doing it and you can later sign to a record label and, and there are still benefits because 49% of the music business uh, is, is still, I'm sorry, not the record business is still CDs. So it's just now, I think in the last year, dropped below 50%. Um, but that's still a lot, you know, that's still close to the, close to half of, uh, uh, of all of the music sold is on CD, so you need distribution in retail, you need distribution on Amazon, you need distribution in all of these foreign markets um, where your CDs are still being bought, and the only buddy that can really provide that uh, is going to be a record label.